Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Happy Friday everybody, the weekend has arrived. Today we have got a lot to talk about. This is going to be a cryptocurrency market update and this could have been a video that I could have kept going for hours. However, I am going to try and keep it around about the 10 minute mark, just a little bit over because we've got an awful lot to cover. So there's a lot I could have crammed in here, but we're really going to focus on the main things that are taking place, not just within the crypto space, but the wider financial landscape. And one thing that we're going to start with is talking about the fact that Biden has essentially called on cryptocurrencies to get regulated and to get tackled as a matter of national security. This is a typical case of the empire strikes back. Now, if you guys know why Satoshi created Bitcoin, and really without Bitcoin, we wouldn't have the crypto space as we know it today, um, you'll understand that he created them in light of the fact that he was essentially calling out the fiat systems for being unfair and bogus and essentially a way of enslaving um, the masses, and that he wanted to come up with an alternative system that was independent from any one government that people could use to interact and, and, and transact value. And of course, with that dream, with that vision, and it's been or certain, certainly come to fruition today, we see countries ever moving towards Bitcoin, like El Salvador, Rio de Janeiro, um, or not Rio, yeah, Rio de Janeiro and a number of others. Um, you know, it, 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 it's on its journey, but there's going to be teething problems. And of course, the empire being the US dollar is going to strike back. And this is a theme that we've really laid throughout the entirety of my channel. This, of course, is the US dollar, which saw a huge uptick. This is in wake of, of course, stocks. This is the S&P. This is the NASDAQ. This is Tesla. Boy, oh boy, was it a bad day for Tesla yesterday. All selling off. Markets as a whole being in a little bit of a state of panic, given what the Federal Reserve are um, essentially threatening to do with interest rates, even though I know and I'm sure many of you that watch me know they can't do too much in light of interest rates. They couldn't rate, rate, raise interest rates by any kind of a significant actual inflationary combating um, percent due to the fact that it would cripple everything. Everything is so debt leveraged that when they up interest rates, debt becomes a lot harder and more expensive to service. Your emerging nations would crumble and the US itself would suffer catastrophically and we'd see a real drawback in economic growth and an actual serious downturn so they are going to up in trace but they're going to be from they're going to be percentages of percentages um, and maybe we get a one percent which would be four interest rate hikes this year and of course markets are very dramatic as we're seeing and they're acting accordingly and what people don't realize is inflation doesn't go away they cannot tackle inflation um the actual cpi stats for inflation are seven percent um, and in actual fact, if you look at the shadow stats, that's got it around about 15 to 16%, which is more where I think inflation is. And your wages haven't gone up in accordance. But of course, people are catching on to this in the US government. There's a political game also being played here with the crypto space and finance as a whole. You know, they have to appease the masses. And if 40% of people don't even have $1,000 in America, it's worse in a lot more, country, a lot, uh, more countries. The UK, it's not so bad, but it is still pretty bad. Um, you know, they have to kind of, certainly with elections, midterms and stuff like that rolling around, be seen to do something about it, even if it is a um, empty promise, if you will, or a, 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 a kind of songbird. So we'll get into all of this. We will look at Marx as a whole. We'll take a look at Bitcoin. Still a lot of indecision for Bitcoin. Um, and what I want to do actually with highlighting this, some of you may be worrying, you know, this is it from Blockwork. Justin, Biden admin plans to regulate Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a matter of national security. And this is from Barron's. We've got the article here. We'll read a little bit of it. There's two sides to every single story. Uh, and what you have to be good at and what certainly I've benefited in my life at is always listening to the counter argument and taking it seriously even if you don't think it's coming from a credible source because if you understand both sides of an argument you're going to make a very um um wise decision or, or your decision is going to be better made if you will so with this yes of course this could mean clamping down on crypto but we actually want regulation regulation would allow for a large number of institutions to get involved with crypto knowing that they're not going to get penalized by the likes of the sec and so on and so forth so regulation is actually a good thing. Overregulation will cripple it. And if the US, and this kind of comes on the back of what we spoke about yesterday in our Cardano video with the America Competes Bill or the America Competes Act, which has a section in it that would 
essentially give Janet Yellen and the secretary the um, the rights to ban whatever they want in regards to crypto. So they could say, we don't like Bitcoin, we don't want it traded, it's over, and they wouldn't be a debate about it or a rebuttal. They would have the ultimate say on that. This is something that, of course, I'm working on ways that I can help lobbying. We need more lobbying in crypto and so on and so forth. As I care and I'm passionate about this space, some people may not think so because I just talk about the price quite a lot because, of course, I do think crypto is an amazing investment and a huge opportunity. And certainly if it succeeds, people are going to continue to make a lot of money off it. They already have, but there's still a long journey that crypto has to go on, and I'm certainly going to be taking part in that. Um, so it, it seems like there's a lot of regulatory pressure coming under the crypto space. It's a good and bad thing. We'll get into the article. A few other things that we want to... Um, talk to you guys about on this video we will dive into all the price um, related stuff we also want to talk about apple ceo sees a lot of potential in metaverse and are investing accordingly so i actually own a number of metaverse plays on the likes of cardano um, we spoke about decentraland before it was even really a thing um, on this channel you can go back and find that video also a rio de janeiro official bitcoin is the future we're investing in crypto and it's as it's an inflation hedge and they're talking about the us dollar largely that causes inflation globally um given what they do or don't decide to do you know this is what we're this is a trend we're going to see continue and we've spoken about this the world is moving towards crypto i also spoke to you guys yesterday and i don't actually think i've got the article up but there's a bank i think they've got eight billion dollars in america that's now going to offer bitcoin services paypal are doing it and so on and so forth your cryptocurrency companies are going to offer banking banking services and your banking services your banking companies are going to offer crypto services they're going to merge because that's where the profit is these banks and i was listening to a interview from the zero hash people who is a um, crypto facilitating company to, to put it bluntly to put it shortly they were saying that one thing that banks one reason banks are interested in crypto is not because they believe in it it's because they're watching their customers move money from the bank account to crypto exchanges and they want to get in on that trade and that's why we see the likes of paypal and so on and so forth offering it matt hancock the uk can be the home of crypto uk parliament um uk member of parliament former minister suggests real shame that it has to be this guy um i think politics around the world is broken i don't think it works um or i don't think it hmm uh, dangerous for me to even get into this discussion but i ultimately think that a democracy should allow you to vote for who you think is going to do the job of running the country the best yes you do get a vote but you get a vote on who somebody else has chosen for you to vote on if that makes sense so this is all i think the world is in a very weird place i think that largely people have been lied to from birth i've spent seven eight years now looking into alternative history and it's eye-opening remember the history is always wrote from the victor so sometimes it's good to take a look at the opposite side of things and it's extremely eye-opening always look at the alternative not just what they've taught you in school and what your government has recommended because they have vested interests that may not align with yours and certainly when it comes to the masses that's often the case but that is for another channel that i may start creating to talk more on those subjects so the cryptocurrency market is indecisive um, to deflate that intro. Essentially, you are seeing, it's quite dark in here actually, I'll just turn the light up a little bit. Um, you're seeing a lot of indecision here. You're seeing people kind of get the okay because the Federal Reserve said they weren't going to up interest rates in January. It doesn't look like they're going to do it in February. We've already told you this. We said they weren't going to do it until March, if they do it in March, because they're not going to continue to stimulate the economy while stopping interest rates or certainly not publicly do it that way they may do a little bit of shifting behind the scenes to make that happen um but they did say that if they were going to up interest rates it would be by a quarter of a percent still significant for all the debt out there that needs to get serviced but not that significant in regards to fighting inflation which is at seven percent it's just like you know it's they might as well not even bother um but they will I, they will up interest rates, I'm convinced of that. Um, but what I think will happen is they'll start to up interest rates. They'll find out that there's an economic downturn as a result of it because there's a lot of stimulus that has been propping up the economy is no longer there and they're pushing the swing the other way. Um, and then they'll have to kind of go back to stimulating the economy. This, this, this is a rigged system that has now got to capacity where 
you know, they can't tinker with it too much or it, the whole thing will just implode. Um, and that's, of course, what the likes of Michael Burry and others have spoke about. Uh, and he still could be right. Yes, he's been wrong on crypto so far and the call that he made. But in the future, you know, you're wrong. You're wrong until you're right. Uh, and this is the dollar. The dollar saw huge amounts of strength. Um, and remember, I'll see if I can very quickly bring this up for you. Bitcoin, it already has it for me. Um, what are we on here? The daily. Um, you can see here, what time frame is this? What have we got over here? You can see that, you know, these are undeniably tethered to one another. You're seeing the dollar go up, you're seeing Bitcoin go down. There will come a point in time, you're actually seeing a lot of commodities continue to go up despite the dollar going up. You'd think that obviously as commodities are priced in dollar, the dollar's going up, commodities would go down, but a lot of commodities are actually continuing to go up. So what, that suggests something very interesting, kind of points to stagflation a little bit, which may be some terms that are just completely throwing, uh, I'm throwing out that are just completely confusing everyone. But this is something that we want to pay attention to. Um, and of course, we're seeing markets, the S&P is continuing to sell off, the NASDAQ, which has got a lot of tech in it, is continuing to sell off, the likes of Tesla are selling off and so on and so forth. Ethereum, just following the market, and Cardano very much doing the same so there is still certainly until we get some kind of certainty about everything the possibility of more downside and more shakiness you guys know that i am the crypto bull um i think crypto has got a long way to go and i think at a 1.6 trillion dollar market cap this is going to get to the tens and potentially into the future and we're talking 5 10 15 years down the line the hundreds of trillions in terms of a market cap in terms of adoption if you have an adoption curve that looks like this yeah and this is your halfway point where maybe here i mean these systems aren't even really fully built yet um and then we're yet to see them even get adopted and that's what we're kind of banking on that crypto is going to be adopted despite the likes of biden coming out and saying that um crypto is a, is a matter of national security which it kind of is i mean if you were the us dollar and you were the big guy in the room uh, that called all the shots you wouldn't treat a competitor very nicely but crypto doesn't have to be a competitor they can use it to their advantage if they want to they can also i mean there's lots of people still say to me well all in crypto they can't ban crypto yes they can um yes they couldn't physically stop people from using it and people it would just go underground but imagine if the united states came out and said and it's the biggest threat other than Satoshi's wallet becoming active, which would cause the crypto market to plummet, one of the biggest threats to crypto is over-regulation, um, certainly from the United States. I mean, Russia came out not that long ago, or one of the banking officials, and said, look, I'm calling, I want a ban on crypto. And then Vladimir Putin said, no, let's just regulate it. Because he understands that it's going to cause, it's going to bolster the economy in a number of ways. It's going to increase jobs, it's going to increase tax revenue, and so on and so forth. And the United States needs to be very careful how they're treading here. I have no faith. I don't care what political party or what side of the left and right. Anybody focusing on left and right has fallen victim, as far as I'm concerned, to the game that they've wanted you to play. There's one side to be on, and that's the side of humanity. There's no left and right with that. There's no black and white. There's no this and that. It, you know, we're in this together. And the whole one reason that we've been stunted so much as a race, and by race, that includes everybody, no matter color, gender, whatever, is because of these kind of um, political, social lines that have been drawn in the sand they don't even exist but you think they do because they want you to so that you argue amongst yourself and you don't target the real people that are penalizing you way off topic something i probably shouldn't even be talking about on a crypto related channel but this is just a typical case of the empire strike backs let's talk about it the biden administration is preparing to release an executive action that will task federal agencies with regulating digital assets such as bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a matter of national security a person familiar with the white house plan um plan tells barons uh, the National Security Memorandum, um, expected to come in the next few weeks, would task part of the government with analysing digital assets and assembling a regulatory framework that 
that covers crypto stable coins and nfts and or non-fungible tokens this person said nfts and non-fungible tokens are the same thing a lot of the people that write these articles from the likes of cnbc and, and all these big media outlets it doesn't really strike me that they have much of an idea of what they're even writing about um, which is how you know you're still early as a space uh, this is designed to look his uh, holistically at digital assets and develop a set of policies that give coherence to what government is trying uh, to do in the space the person said so this is not a strictly bad thing people have took this as a extremely bad thing but they do need to somewhat regulate crypto um for a number of reasons i'm for regulation i'm against over regulation that kills off any kind of um um innovativeness um if that is even a, 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 a sentence so they they need to keep they can't over regulate it because they'll kill it basically uh, and that's what i'm all for and this of course is the america competes out that we covered yesterday that we really don't want going through that was snuck in sneakily or certainly that the, the section of the american competes out that actually calls off a lot of crypto and gives ultimate power to the likes of janet yellen was snuck in by a member who essentially represents the banking committee and has a vested interest and this is what i mean by the whole special interest side of things it's very sneaky politics um and that's not just in in the us that's all over the place but apple ceo big on metaverse this is a trend i think we're going to see continue um there's a saying out there that is um you'll you'll own nothing and be happy or well, i can't remember what it is it's, it's early in the morning or not that early but it's, it's certainly still early-ish for me um this is how they get you there i don't think as much as i'm bullish and i own metaverse plays because i'm an investor at the end of the day that human beings need to be any more detached from reality than they already are um so we'll see how this plays out uh money to be made though of course rio de janeiro official uh bitcoin is the future we already know this potentially it is bitcoin itself um is a bad currency um and people are going to go what what do you mean you couldn't use bitcoin as a currency in the sense that a currency the whole purpose of a currency convenience speed ease of use etc so that's why you have to have the likes of strike and layer twos and, and and other things built on top of bitcoin to actually make it a util utilized utilizable currency what bitcoin is for me is it's like the gold originally backed currency um and we develop a system of transaction value without actually transacting the gold physically if that makes sense so i do think bitcoin is a real good store of value i mean it, 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 we've used value systems we used to use sticks to dictate value years ago guys so it's all um very interesting uh and then of course we had a belgian mp that was looking to take it and matt hancock in favor this guy has been disgraced by the way um so i'm not so sure that he's the best face of crypto but hopefully i can find and if you guys know of any mps that i can get in touch with that are crypto friendly um i've tried to get in touch with a number of different parties in the uk like the libertarian party and so on and so forth and um, but if you know of any mps that are crypto friendly that i can talk to and we can maybe make this more of an issue within i personally think i can make a very good argument for cryptocurrencies and us adopting them in the uk and other current countries but i'm not I'm, I'm a citizen of the uk and you really have a say in this in this country this video has gone on for way too long guys i'm gonna love and leave you on that note if you've enjoyed the content like is always appreciated so as a comment and i look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next youtube video thank you very much for watching ladies and gents